if a mortgage at 6% interest rate has payments of $1,000 a month, how much will the loan balance be 10 years from the end of the loan? Let's learn. This is a remaining loan balance problem, okay? We're trying to figure out 10 years from the end of the loan, how much is left in the loan amount, okay? How much, how much loan is left there? We can almost imagine it as if the loan is only for 10 years long. We're starting a new loan at that moment, all right? We're gonna be using our loans formula here, and we're gonna identify each one of these values in our word problem and solve for the missing value. In this case here, it's a little tricky. We wanna find the beginning balance, the principal. Now, this loan has already existed. We don't really know how long it's been, but at the 10 years left to the end, that's what we're trying to find. So we're imagining the loan kind of starts right now and we have 10 years left to go. So in this problem, it's treated as if it's the beginning amount and we don't know what that is. Our D is our loan payment. And we told us it's $1,000 a month. We got that. Our R is our interest rate, okay, as a decimal, so 6% is a 0 0.06 here. Our K value is a number of compounding periods in a year, which is gonna be monthly, it's per month, and so it's gonna be 12 months in a year, 12. And N is the length here of the loan. Again, this loan has existed, but we're counting at 10 years from the end of the loan, so it's gonna be 10 years. We're now going to plug these values into our loans formula. So we don't know what our piece of O is, but we have a D value of 1000 times a 1 minus a 1 plus an R, which is 0 0.06 over a K value, which is 12, to the power of a negative N value, which is 10, times a K value, which is 12, all over here, R over K, 0 0.06 over a K value, which is a 12. Now I'm going to use my calculator here and don't do it all at once. Break it down to little parts. Okay, we have P sub O equals 1000 times a 1 minus that 1, uh, that 0 0.06 divided by 12 is a 0 0.005 plus 1 is a 1.005. We're raising that to a negative 10 times 12 power, which is a negative 120, which I should have been able to do without my calculator. Embarrassing on camera. 0 0.06 divided by 12 is a 0 0.005. Don't forget the extra zero there, two zeros. All right, so now let's keep simplifying. P sub O is 1,000. Now 1 1.005 to the power of negative 120. And then one minus, that's a 0.4 or 0.5496 minus one minus that value gives me a zero point. I'm doing the one minus that number is 4503672666. Oh, uh -oh. over 0 0.005. I'm going to take this number, multiply it by a thousand, then divide it by the denominator 0 0.005. Oops. 450.36726666 uh, divided by 0 0.005 is a P sub O of 90073.45 rounded. And so, how much will the loan balance be 10 years from the end of the loan? It'll be $90,073.45. And, and I hope you learned something here about the loans formula. And as always, thanks for watching.